So here we have the problem that you've been asked to solve. Suppose we have a mercury manometer with the height of mercury in the open arm at 7.83 millimeters higher than in the closed arm. If we know the barometric pressure, then what's the pressure of the gas in the manometer? This is that idea that we could use the setup for measuring gas pressure using liquid pressure and potentially barometric pressure. So why don't we draw a little picture of just what's going on for us? So we can imagine we've got some sort of gas in here. And we essentially have something that looks like this. It doesn't have to be anything really fancy. We've got some gas inside here. And this gas is the pressure of the gas that we're going to want to be solving for here. What we see is there's going to be some mercury in here. Let me just actually undo that because I need to make sure that I draw things so that the open end has a higher height of mercury than the closed end. And that's millimeters of what? It's millimeters of mercury, which we've seen as an equivalent to pressure. So what we're essentially saying is the pressure of the gas on this side, well, that's going to have to equal the pressure that is the blanket of air pushing down on us, plus this additional pressure, this weight of mercury. It's no different than if we jump into a swimming pool. Not only do we have the weight of water pressing down on us, we still have that blanket of air. Here it's not water, it's 7.83 millimeters of mercury. So if we see this is 748.2 millimeters of mercury, that blanket is pushing down on effectively the gas in our bulb, but this is also pushing down. That means our pressure of the gas is going to have to be the sum of these two things in this case. So that is going to be our 748.2 millimeters of mercury added to the additional 7.83 millimeters of mercury of weight of extra pressure that's needed to make things balance out. And so when we add these together, 748 plus 7 is 755.83, so let's call that 756.0 millimeters of mercury. That would be the pressure of the gas in this container.